Hello viewers, and welcome back to Renowned Explorers, more to explore. We spent a lot of effort getting uh, all these archaeologist ranks, and now it's time to take advantage of them. I actually considered, while I was loading up the game here, considered veering off into um, the Andes. Because there really is, there's a lot of research to be had in the Andes. But, uh... We've gone there a lot, recently. I've certainly gone there a lot. And what with us being on track to get the uh, the extra science treasure from, from the Temple of War and everything, this really does make a lot more sense. Plus, there's so many nature challenges here. And just for showing up, we get four research tokens. Alright, so Kiwi's really good at stuff. Kiwi gets a lot of extra payouts. We're seeing our strategy of perk stacking really start to pay off here. Oh, uh, yes, obviously we'll take two extra study tokens. And then look at all the empty nodes. I guess we'll head this way. Kiwi gets to uh, avoid some of these supply penalties due to being a survivalist, which is wonderful. Uh, a vast open piece of desert without a single spot of shade. So we will lose a point of supplies if we go for the roll. We only get four... Uh, oh, sorry, five tokens in the best case scenario, only one of which is the, the important type. <clears throat> hmm. I honestly think this is maybe worth just skipping. Kiwi's gone again. Anna's about to complain when you hear Kiwi yelling. Kiwi's being followed! A group of local goons! Is this... Are we... We're describing these as goons? Also, apparently we're camping inside of a pyramid for some reason. I don't think that it's reasonable at all to call these guys goons. There's something a little bit more intense than that occurring here. Well, I suppose we'll just do... <clears throat> as we often do. Hildegard's attack is fairly unimportant, so she opens up with the, uh... Are these guys weak to anything? They're weak to sadness. I mean, who isn't, really? <sighs> I actually don't think we are going to, uh... Oh, I should have moved Kiwi first. That was a mistake. I was gonna say, I actually don't think that we are on track to get a kill here. No, we're not. So we are not going to end the turn. In, uh, in Devious. I doubt these guys are gonna do enough damage to take anybody down. Actually, quite close. Hey, Kiwi, maybe dodge. Hey, Kiwi, remember, remember dodging? Remember when you could dodge things? <coughs> Excuse me, I, uh, failed to be able to, uh, Hit the button on my microphone before that happened. I will. Uh, I will edit that out Flap. in post. Oh. My allergies are really acting up. Though. I've had a uh, <laughs> had a rough day here, allergy-wise. Those are finally calming down. All right. Obviously, we should be in <clears throat> no danger at all from this last mummy. Let's get this done uh, done with real quickly here. Alright, we broke our opponent's minds. They were mummies. Alright, as the crew members catch their breath, Anna's the first to address Kiwi. That does it! Enough is enough. Kiwi will now stay in line and move with the crew or else Anna will quit. Anna thinks Kiwi's a nice girl, but awfully rash. She can't trust her. Uh, Kiwi is embarrassed and agrees to be more careful, but secretly she still thinks Anna is a boring old goat. That's... okay. Well, so Anna gained a perk. Well, we didn't get a perk on Kiwi, that's a shame. Well, I think it's still... even though this is a kind of an expensive path, I think it's still beneficial for us to go here, uh, supplies-wise. Uh, I wish that we got to choose. Who would take these events on? Hildegard's gonna go for the 
nutritious plants, which is the best she can do. No, oh, I want Kiwi. I want Kiwi to do all of the rolling. We actually ended up right, right back where we were. Okay, so like this is one of the one of the most obvious situations where we should roll with Kiwi despite Kiwi not being the most likely to win because if we did that roll a hundred times, picking Kiwi every time would yield the most total tokens, even though she would fail more often than uh, than Hildegard. It's Ilmis the Eagle from Constantinople. We just hang out and say hi. I um, I did hear that if you have Hattis in your party, Hattis Ottoman, the uh, archer, uh, this encounter goes a little bit differently because it turns out that Hattis and uh, Ilmiz are sisters. Kiwi has been observing Hildegard carefully. Strangely, she notices the ki Hildegard's cheerful attitude hides more fear than she thought. All right, yeah, I have no, I have no idea how that crew story is actually going to end up. Trying to figure out what the best path is. Obviously, we want to hit every node if we can, but turning out to be very expensive supplies wise. Uh, well, I suppose we'll go down to here, then hit this. But there's a huge amount of space over here that's unexplored, but everything is costing so many supplies. Alright, there's several small houses lying in ruins, and it notices a basement door. We find an old embalming room. A bunch of mummies is approaching you. With love. I would never let a mummy hug me. Hug me. Hey, is a taser gonna be effective against a mummy? Is that a... Probably not, right? Okay, so we have four mummies. We sort of have some... We have some bottlenecks that we can kind of work around here. But unfortunately, our crew's movement is actually pretty poor. Well, I mean, we could, uh... We could wall up. No, not really, because this guy will definitely move around this side if we, if we create a wall here. <sighs> Anna and uh, Hildegard can't really move this way very effectively, but the best thing for us to do might be to try to group up on the walls here. Or on the walls. On the uh, regen spaces. I don't imagine... I did not imagine that Resolve was going to be our main problem, but honestly, I'm a little concerned. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Right, here's what we're going to do. First of all... We start by dropping that guy's speech defense. We are going to move Anna out to here. I, I, I want to do this, but I don't think that it's a good idea. So we're just going to have Anna do a thing that's not very valuable, is that... No, let's not do that. Anna's armor is a little weaker than it could be. So I'm a little reticent to like have her run to here and attack this guy. Really, what I should have done is have Hildegard move here. Use Impress on this guy and have us all gang up on him. I'm going to use this to pump up Kiwi's grit, draw aggro, and generally be a nuisance. And then I'm actually going to move Anna over here, and I know this guy doesn't have any damage on him, and I'm totally splitting my DPS. But I'm trying to do something so that everybody gets to contribute, but also Kiwi get, has to bear the brunt of the enemy attack. Because Kiwi has a lot of grit, although she hasn't dodged anything in what feels like a year. Okay, this is not working out, this strategy. I really thought she was going to dodge at least once. That's, um, frustrating. How much grit does she have? Uh... Well... That sucked. We can obviously take down this guy. If I do this, and then have... Uh, obviously I would have to move Anna, but like, can I move her to here and still get it done? No, actually. Remarkably... Remarkably, I cannot. Can I move to here and still do this? Hit three people with it? Okay. <laughs> I 
Alright, and then Hildegard gets to move over to here. Pick up Kiwi. And maybe Kiwi can take care of this guy. Uh, I guess she only had 25% dodge. That doesn't feel right, though. Does she have the bonus here from... Because uh, this gives grit, doesn't it? Yeah, plus 30 grit. So, okay, she would have been at 64 grit. Yeah, so she just didn't... Didn't dodge. Lost a point of uh, resolve, basically, to bad luck there. Okay, and we're actually going to lose another one. This is going... Alright, that didn't hurt that badly. This is not going that well. <laughs> to uh, To state it gently. This is not going that well. Alright. We definitely would like to end it friendly, actually, but I don't know if that's feasible, really. We're so bad at friendly. We do much more damage, Devious. Yeah, let's just try to try to burn these guys down, Devious, as quickly as possible. We're actually having a remarkable amount of trouble with our offensive capabilities. At the end of this, we should have quite a bit of gold. Hopefully enough to make a, uh, to make a big difference in our defensive and offensive stats. Alright, Kiwi can get in the middle of them, use Loudmouth one more time. Alright, that was a real bummer, man. That sucked. I can't believe I lost a point of resolve to random mummies. That's terrible. Alright. Going to this node lets me take advantage of a zero point path here. A new captain? The crew tries to stick together, but when the sandstorm passes, Captain Anna is gone. As the crew becomes chaotic, Kiwi comes up with a suggestion. Uh, we're definitely electing Kiwi Vice Captain. Because this conveys a perk. Um, so... Tinkerer is... Hmm, Tinkerer is the engineer perk that Anna can teach to Kiwi. If we give her Tinkerer... How close is Anna to a, a level? Okay, all we have to do is get advanced tools before we hit the next... I'm thinking toward polymath here. If we get advanced tools, and then we get Anna's story, she can teach Kiwi advanced tools, and then if Kiwi gets Tinkerer from here, then she's at three points of polymath already, and the polymath card will be 300 points. The other thing we should do, the other thing we could do is rainbow her pick another one of these things. Right, we could pick, um, maybe not Diplomat, but pick Athlete or Rogue, since we don't really have those covered in the crew already, and that'll expand her, um, capability to win roles. Different kinds of roles. Which will lead to more successes and thus more tokens. You know, I think that makes sense. We're gonna, we're gonna try to expand her out into more perks here. So, how am I gonna do that? What's my plan? Rogue Merciless is pretty good, and Rogue is useful here, in uh, in Egypt. Athlete is potentially useful, but we're yeah we're gonna go out to Rogue. All right, we go to a British excavation site. The head of security is being a real dick about it. We need to convince them. Oh, the guy's bottlenecked Kiwi in, so she can't just run around. It's unfortunate. Alright, well, we'll bring down this, uh, this target pretty easily. And then we'll take down the other one. This is, uh, this is an encounter that almost is not worth doing. Just hurry it up, you. I'm sad that I couldn't have run through and, uh, loudmouthed him, though. That's what I was... I want to use loudmouth every single battle. It really is, like, um... Padrino's party time. 
I just always want to do it because it's so powerful and cool. Although Party Time does have that little music cue. Loudmouth could use some jaunty music. Alright, the head of security may look brawny, but seems to have a frail heart. Let's talk to this Sir Poppings. And it turns out Anna's already here drinking tea with him. Alright. Or you can leave when the security guards comes to the ex uh, comes to the executive. Yes, I did say terrible things about your hair. This is a dumb haircut. Look at it. Also, this is not a good hat. Buy a better hat. Fact is still a fact, Bushhead. We are merely testing your security. Already, already, this rogue rogueliness is paying off, man. Rogueliness, you know, like the kid. I'm saying she's like that kid from the Jungle Book. All right, Anna's got Strike of Fear now. That'll help. That'll help us not lose a bunch of, uh, what do you call it, a bunch of resolve to random mummies. All right, so two crew members go exploring while the others set up camp. Unfortunately, nobody's actually good at setting up camp, but we'll definitely send Kiwi and Hildegard out. All right, this is unfortunate. Come on, Anna. You can do it. All right, good. I didn't want to lose that gold. All right, here's open. Okay. Bit of a crash there. Just This is not the first time I've had it crash it's, as it's loading up the, uh, the campfire screen. It's fine. We relaunch. It's all good. Yep, yep. Continue. Alright, so we're hoping for Anna's campfire card, obviously. That would be best. Um. Huh. Okay. So it it drew me a new hand of cards, which, by the way, is not a good hand of cards. Uh, and then it just didn't. My campfire was expended, but it it is as though I spent it without playing a card. Huh. Okay, so that turns this run into pretty... Oh, man, and that means that we won't... I don't know that I would play Anna's crew card on the fourth expedition, but we won't have a choice now, because these will be the cards in our hand. Um... Wow. That really hurts. Like, that that hurts our ability to score high quite a lot. I guess we'll keep going, but this is... This is a significant injury to our ability to, to score well here. I'm, I'm super frustrated by that. Alright, Kiwi, helper. Minus five armor is not even a real penalty. Yeah, that, man, that sucks a lot. I don't think there's anything I can do about it. As far as I know, there's no way to, like, edit a save to, to backpedal something. Which I totally would do in this case, since it clearly is a... A trained survivalist might be able to find solace and wealth behind below the sands. Yeah, that seems like a great place. Just start digging, randomly. And at least we're still... Look, we're, we're definitely getting a lot of tokens from Kiwi. We're getting good confirmation that this is a real strategy, I think. But now we we have three supplies. So the thing is, all of the paths into and out of this thing basically cost two. Okay, everything about this run is uh, is going off the rails, man. Rough. I could try to circle around, right? I could run over to here or to here, maybe. I really do want to see what that note is. I can, like, try to circle around here, get supplies, and then come through the bottom on my way to these supplies. Mm. We're going to be taking some hunger penalties, though. That's that's unavoidable at this point. And if basically, if I go here, I will never get to know what this node is. 
Because there's very little chance that I would want to pay two to go to that node. Yep, and everything costs two. All of the node travel costs two over here. Uh, there might be an encounter here. The fact that there's gold, a gold symbol, doesn't necessarily mean there will be a challenge. I think that's skippable. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're out of supplies no matter what. Hildegard loses attack power. That is a pretty light penalty. Oh, hey, they hit a horde. That's cool. Anna loses attack power. That's less good. That's less acceptable. Alright. Anna gets to find nutritious plants this time. Getting pretty bad luck on that. It would be really helpful if we could get Kiwi on those. Alright. A caravan of explorers. Getting to use that, uh, use that rogue ability right away. Caravan of explorers from the British Excavation Forces. Looking to find treasures. Let's steal their documents. Should probably even succeed on this. Yes, like... Let's talk about this for a second. What did we actually lose? Scavenger... I don't think Kiwi is a level 4 survivalist, actually. So Scavenger wouldn't have done anything. Tech experiment is weak. This is probably what I would have played. 6 collect, 6 study. Uh, 8 campaign is not awesome. And polymath is currently only 50 points. I guess what I probably would have done is hold polymath. And use tech experiment. So I, I basically lost 6 collect tokens and 6 study tokens, but I'll probably still end up playing that card, actually. That's likely to be what we play next expedition. We might have an extra point of engineer by then. A group of Scopian, or actually, no, we don't. We totally won't. She already has the trinkets. I mean, we might just buy an engineering trinket for Anna or something just to get an extra couple of tokens. Uh, so there's Scorpions. Sneak by carefully. Is this better than fighting? Yeah, probably. Fighting gives the XP, right? We're not going to get a lot of tokens from a fight, but we get all that XP. This just gives us nine tokens? Yeah, or ten tokens, actually. Yeah, that seems fine. And again, there's no way to get anywhere without spending... Uh, constantly spending extra uh, supplies. Uh, well, I think this is the event that gives the... Uh, I believe that this node is the one that gives you the extra point of archaeology. So we have to get this. Yeah, whatever. I guess we'll just... Take this path. We'll take a ton of hunger penalties. Uh, Kiwi loses attack power. That sucks. Hey, look. It's an obelisk. Let us study it. Oh, no. We might lose supplies if we fail the roll. All right. Uh, we'll focus on collectibles. We need gold to, boost, to bolster our... Uh, what do you call it? We're having a small hall with quarters with left and right to bolster our stats. I'm a little distracted. I'm thinking about how frustrated I am about the uh, about the campfire thing. All right, a room of the pharaoh. Sure, let's take the treasure. Obviously, plus one collect whenever a scientist succeeds in the adventure wheel is not that great for us actually. Plus three to five research from discovery tokens is also kind of not that great for us. Eight twenty-four percent of any research we find is renowned, so this is this is at best gonna be like one extra point of renown per discovery token. I don't think we need it for the actual points of research. I'm just gonna take the treasure hunt token. Wow. That's some luck. Uh I mean, we may as well take some time and effort to construct a lever since we have no supplies already. Alright. So we got a treasure. Loses armor is not the end of the world. 
Let's move quickly toward the supplies. Anna loses attack power. Well, her attack power was already pretty booted, so I guess that probably doesn't actually matter. Uh, we'll go for some, some more rolls here. I know I'm taking an extra hunger penalty by stepping over here, but uh, he loses attack power. We're going to have to speech our way out of the ending uh, no matter what, so... Once again, we had three of those, and not a single one of them came up Kiwi. Kiwi would have gotten a ton of extra tokens. A British camp, thank goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and tool this. I would really like to get the point of supplies here. Never mind, doesn't matter what I would like. Things have gone off the rails, man. This whole adventure is going to hell. Kiwi's max level, though. Oddmouth gains plus 25 power when your current attitude is the thing that my attitude always is. Sounds pretty good. Okay, there it is. There's always two, um, two purple nodes. Oh no, we cost some supplies. Yeah, there's always two purple nodes in Egypt. So a lot of what we were doing there was looking for the next one. Now we have to fight the Rivalinis. I am not excited about this. Our stats are all screwed up, and we don't have very much, uh, we don't have very much resolve left. But you know what we do have? First of all, Loudmouth, which is a great skill. And secondly... That, which is a great skill. And actually... Looks like we won't even need the stun. I have to say, that went pretty well. Hopefully the fight against uh, Bast is as easy. Okay, there's no really good path forward. We'll lose a point of resolve if we go for this and fail it. And it really it only gives us one study token. It's not even good payout. This would give us two study tokens. You know what? We'll take the coin flip. At this point, I'm feeling like this run is a little trashed, so I'm really not that scared about uh, wagering resolve. If we lose, we lose. Whatever. Uh, look at this, look at how look at how good this stuff is getting. Plus, it was an archaeology roll, and archaeology rolls are uh, we have a 90% chance not to immediately lose the game. We made it. Archaeology rolls are especially valuable given the. Uh, the skull of the whatever. That treasure we picked up on the first island, the name of which I cannot remember for some reason. But then Cassandra's like, oh no, let's fight. And I'll be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, let's fight. I agree. Sir Ninos, right? Is that the skull? Is that the name of that skull? Who can remember the name of a skull anymore? These days, you know? We're just beset by skulls on all sides. So this is a little risky. I'm not sure I like that play. Can she actually stun both of these? She can, okay. We'll do this. All right, Kiwi can run back here and probably just loudmouth these guys out, but also, I'm gonna go for this. Yep. Alright, well, there's a chance that might happen. That's sort of the reason I did things this way, was the chance that that might happen, that Kiwi might just whiff her attack. We are going to be at pretty much full strength in battles where we can mostly rely on speech and mostly be attacked by speech. But we do have some significant armor penalties that are going to be a real problem when we fight the boss because the mummies always hit your armor, no matter what the mood is. Wow. This guy has 13 spear- oh right, her attack. Her attack is all destroyed, that's right. Well, there's a chance of this getting the one shot. Right. I intentionally did not use Loudmouth last turn, even though it was somewhat likely to cause a failure to kill. 
because I want to save Loudmouth for when Cassandra and her uh, her two close guys arrive. Hopefully, they will stand in such a way that I can get them all flat-mouthed. And in fact, no, that is definitely not happening. In fact, it's not even possible for me to get two of them with loudmouth. Because they constructed a wall. Oh, wow. Sort of. Sort of sounds like he says, oh, wow. Yeah, unfortunately, the one way in which Loudmouth is way, way, way inferior to party time is that Loudmouth does not include a teleport. <laughs> Alright, Kiwi is mostly immune to Cassandra's charms, because she takes so much less damage from Impress. And none of her attacks are any good here, man. <sighs> well, that was a mistake. I, I wasn't paying attention to how many points of Devious I already had. <laughs> yeah, that was entirely... That's bad play caused by tilting. Tilting is a bad thing. Try, uh, try to pay attention to what you're doing. And not just make bad decisions because you're upset. That's just, you know, good life advice. Unfortunately, there's not actually a way for us to not be in this stat in this uh, state. We have to spend so many points of uh, not I was going to say points of resources, and that's true in the temporal sense, but it's not the clearest expression of the thing I was trying to say. We had to spend so many of our actions doing other stuff there that uh, we couldn't actually also attack. All right, so Hildegard cannot be impressed. She'll just get blown up. All right, that didn't have to hit. It just had to generate a point of aggressiveness. Now we're in a superior mood. This should help a little bit, although... We don't really have the ability to out-damage Cassandra's damage, and apparently we also don't have the ability to out-damage her re reinforcements. We've done almost no damage to her this fight. I appreciate them going after Kiwi. What if these guys just have a million armor? They have 25 armor. Alright, well... I was thinking, like, even with her penalty, after a few turns, you know, this builds up to be pretty powerful, but nope, not the case. So Kiwi's on 47 speech. It's slightly better for Kiwi to heal Hildegard than for Anna to do it, but it's not good for either of them, really. We need Kiwi's damage. Yeah, this is going off the rails a little bit. All right, we have cheer available in one turn. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to give her enough health to survive. We're going to get down to just Cassandra alive. And Cassandra switches moods. And then, okay. Uh, it's not super clear from that what, what just happened. But what just happened is that uh, Cassandra used her AoE buff skill. Her AI probably should be programmed in such a way that she does not do that when there is no one alive to be buffed by it. But we'll take advantage of it. Alright, so this should return us to basically full working order. And everybody's excited on top of it. There's no way for us to get too friendly this turn. But we can certainly get too devious at least. <laughs> Remove our speech penalty. Or our speech defense penalty. Yeah, not really a way for us to get uh, all the way up to a speech defense bonus.
Uh, everybody's attack is all blown up. There's no reason to even try for the flank and shank. We're just gonna have to wear her down a small amount of speech damage at a time. It'll be a little bit easier on a turn when Hildegard actually gets to attack her. I think what she probably just did is move so that Hildegard can't attack her. That would be my guess. I know Hildegard can't get close enough. I, I don't really think we have the choice of continuing to pay attention to these minions. I think we kind of have to commit here. Alright, Hildegard got some damage off at least. That's a little bit of damage. Even though it's a weak excite, uh, I'm not. I am not doing it again. We are not putting her into the excited state. Ah, uh, you suck so much. You suck so much. We hate you so much. All right. Provided that nothing untoward happens, I think we will be able to finish this battle off this turn. Because Hildegard should be able... Oh no! I was, I was thinking Hildegard should be able to put her into actually being impressed. But it is not the case. Alright, let's try this. Alright, now Hildegard can put her into being actually impressed. And then we can finish her off with a great big terrify. Or... Actually, never mind. Uh, using Hildegard's Impress might well have killed her, and I would prefer to get the devious payout rather than the friendly payout. Okay, yeah, we, we really need uh, to upgrade our gear, like, a lot. How could they say those things? Rude, uncivilized, I hate them, especially Kiwi! She needs a bath? We made her so angry that she felt like she needed to take a bath. Alright. Highest level archaeologist gains plus one secret on archaeologist spins. That's compelling. Yep, we're out of supplies. That is certainly true. Yep, here we go. Kiwi runs toward an obelisk. Suddenly she seems to know something. She's gained archaeologist occult. She loses grit? Okay, not great. Uh, Kiwi loses speech power. There goes the end of our good luck. Well, you know what? Now that Kiwi's speech power is all nuked already, I'm going for this. Would I rather have two collect tokens than one study token? Actually... I think we're just going to do this. I would rather have one collect token, I think. Or one study token than two collect tokens. Alright, and I lost some armor. That's fine. Alright, here we go. We're actually not going to be great at this, um, at this mummy challenge. So nobody's going to be good at the game of war. For some reason, uh, playing this board game involves armor. Alright, well, I think we're going to go with the 89%, you know. Wow, really? Well, I guess that's the end of that. These negotiations are over. I declare war on you. Well, that, that took a turn. Yeah, man. Well, uh, I need a break. I need to, I need to go, go sit in a dark, quiet room and think about what just happened to me. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode of Renowned Explorers. More to explore. Come back next time for something. Uh, I'm just, I just can't, I can hardly even process it. Come back next time for something a little uh, better, you know, better executed. Good ideas, better executed. And we'll see you then.